sun outside from the sea. Sabrina, girl, pants. pretty and blind and funny as she. Sabrina, girl, pants. if not, I'll come let's be something you wish. Sabrina, girl, pants. then jump on the deck and float like a fish. Sabrina, girl, pants. Sabrina, girl, pants. Sabrina, girl, pants. Sabrina, girl. Sabrina Girlpins took her pet snail, Gloria, for a field trip to the animal farm closer to her college. This farm has horses, cows, sheep, and chickens. Happy to see each other again. So, let's have fun in the park together. 
before I'll give you two some alone time. Let's go! Yeah. 
Piggy. Mr. Dinkles and Gloria, they're doing great, especially they have a happy romantic times together, especially they'll feel happy of dating each other, so they're doing fine right now. What we were doing now? Oh, we're just playing together in a park, especially I give them a ride, you know, like on the swing, especially on the slide. So right now, we're playing hide and seek, that's all. <laughs> About it. You know how much I'm good with pets, just like I'm always good with my Gloria, my little girl. Just like you always did with your little boy, Mr. Tinkles. You know me. Oh, just don't worry about it. Just go have fun with your friends, including Poppy and Brent. It's goodbye. Have a happy day. Phew. Oh, if Becky finds out about that I lost Mr. Tinkles, He's gonna cry! Oh, I don't want anything, anything happened to my Gloria too! I'll be, if I lost Gloria like Vicky lost Mr. Jinkles, I'll be crying out of agony! And I'm gonna be beyond dead! Okay, don't give up Sabrina, just keep looking! Wait a minute. If I was Gloria, where would I go? I'd better open my nose. I smell Gloria's trail. It went that way. I better follow that. Gloria and Mr. Dingles must have go that way. Somewhere in the plaza.
these wet batteries into our sink and stuff. Meow! Meow! Now, what do you two have to say for yourself for running off your butt? You know what I'm saying, without my permission. Meow! Well, apology accepted, so I forgive you. Anyway, let's go before anything happens. Finally here in my college library, where we can be safe and quiet. Meow, meow. I'm not so loud with your meowing and meowing, you two, please. Mm -hmm. As I'm going to read to the story, this is a continuing chapter where we left off at ever since Gloria kept meowing. Well, Gloria, at least I forgive you and you learn your lesson. Okay. This is a book about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The chapter where Violet was a blueberry after she accidentally swallowed that gum. Okay. I'm thinking where to left off. Everybody was staring at Violet, and what a terrible, peculiar sight she was. Her face and hands and legs and neck, in fact, the skin all over her body, as well as her great big mop of curly hair, had turned a brilliant purplish blue, the color of blueberry juice. It always goes wrong when we come to the dessert, sighed Mr. Wonka. It's the blueberry pie that does it, but I'll get to it. Oh, thanks. I mean, but I'll get it right one day. You wait and see. Ah, uh, at least I have to make myself scream something like this. <laughs> Violet, screamed Miss, Mrs. Bogart. You're swelling up. I feel sick. Violet said. You're swelling up, screamed Mrs. Bogart again. I feel most peculiar, gasped Violet. I'm not surprised, said Mr. Bogart. Great heavens, girl, squeaked Mrs. Bogart. You're blowing up like a balloon, like a blueberry, said Mr. Wonka. Call a doctor, sounded Mr. Bogart. Prick her with the pen, said one of the other fathers. Save her cried Mrs. Bogart, wringing her hand, but there was no saving her now. Her body was swelling up and changing shape at such a rate that within a minute it had turned into nothing less than an enormous round blue ball, a gigantic blueberry in fact, and all that remained of blue of Violet Bogart. Sorry. Remained of Violet Bogart herself was a tiny pair of legs and a tiny pair of arms sticking out of the great round fruit and a little head on top. It always happens like that, sighed Mr. Wonka. I've tried it 20 times in the testing room on 20 Oompa and every one of them finished up as blue, a blueberry. It's most annoying. I just can't understand it. But I don't want a blueberry for a daughter, yelled Mrs. Bogart put it back to what she was this instant. 